2004. The Umbrella Corporation has turned their logo to blue to indicate to the public the split from its predecessor. Red, reborn as Blue Umbrella. They were working hard on cleaning up the mess created by the original Umbrella Corporation as atonement, investing in anti-BOW organizations such as the BSAA and providing them with the Umbrella Arsenal system. However, 2021, they washed out their sins and restored the image of Umbrella to the public. Soon after, they began to work closely with the BSAA on a project named Lazarus, a virus that had the ability to create humanoid super soldiers used under the guise of fighting bioterrorism. This was all kept under top secret conditions by the US government. In 2024, things have changed to a point that it is now publicly acceptable to create bioweapons as long as they are contained and used for the good fight. I couldn't watch myself in the mirror knowing that the United States of America are using the same weapons we were fighting all of the time, so I retired. Today, I was being invited to a closed political event by someone I thought I'd never see again. Mr. Kennedy, you're here too? I didn't expect to see you here, Braylon. Ha! I'm telling you, Dalmor Trinitas? Amazing. That's when you know you're in the League of Winners. Enjoy yourself, Mr. Kennedy. took me to this place. Long time no see. I almost thought you dumped me, Ada. Did I meet your expectations, Leon? You light up the room. I can already sense some jealousy. Still a gentleman. <laughs> How was your day? I was busy all day trying to find a suitable line that's worthy of you. A lonely man's curse. Did you really invite me just to ask how my day was? Remember this man with the special DNA everyone went crazy for? Wesker's only begotten son. Yeah, he donated his blood, enabling a better life for millions of people. And with it, they made a vaccine against the C-virus. What a noble man he is. Unfortunately, things have changed. Just what are you trying to say here? Well, the sunlight didn't do him so well. I suppose he's looking for another umbrella to shelter him. I don't feel like playing your games today. What about him? Oh, Leon. It would be too boring if I told you everything up front. Just watch. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. As the president's representative, I am honored to have you here tonight. You all made a good choice in coming here indeed. Let us make a toast to the father of the supreme race and visionary, Lord Spencer. Supreme race? What the hell is this shit show about, Ada? All of those in attendance today are well aware their drinks are mixed up with progenitor virus. The truth, however, is the compatibility of the progenitor virus is so low that is estimated that only one out of ten is even compatible with it. Hmm, the devil's gambit. 
the lucky winners will join a collective consciousness to their conspecifics through the progenitor virus, while those who repel the virus die and resurrect as so-called slaves to serve the new world. Let's welcome the next era in human evolution and become one with the Homo Prognotorus. And accidentally, the slaves can distinguish between friend and foe. Right. Therefore, we become the foe. Yep. Fuck. Shall we dance? With pleasure. Paranoia, easy in bloom to PR. Transmission will resume. They'll try to push drugs to keep us all dumb down. We will never see the truth around. And now the promise we'll never see another. Like a drug to keep us trapped in green. Another green belt trapped around our minds. An endless red tape to keep the truth in fine. So what, you knew about this scheme, Braylon? You betrayed this country by negotiating with the terrorists. <laughs> oh, Leon. Don't you know? It was the president himself who ordered me to organize this event. And to get as many allies as possible. 
I just chose to follow along. That's all. And the Constitution of America stands for what? You just throw that all away? I don't give a damn about America, nor the president. I just want to be a part of the new world order. Cut the crap, Braylon. <laughs> you can't stop it now, Leon. This world will burn, and the homo prognatoris will reign over it. Fuck the Constitution, fuck the United States, and fuck you. We will be gods under Wesker. Huh, I've heard enough. A friend of yours? <laughs> Once upon a time. Let's get the hell out of here. But first, take off your clothes. Girl's restroom is closed. How did you know this would happen? I have made my homework. What happens next? I'm not a fortune teller. But I will soon meet up with Redfield to work out a plan and stop Wesker. Redfield has the manpower to do so. An old geezer like me might come in handy as well. Would you follow me into the depths of hell? Sure. I've already been there. Ada, wait a sec. Maybe this isn't the right time for this, but... Leon, what's wrong? Since we met in Raccoon City, there's been something I've been meaning to ask. All slaves are being neutralized and safe escorts for the survivors. You heard it, Wolves. Move out. Roger that, Alpha. Well, well. I was wondering who was responsible for all this ruckus. Leon Kennedy and... you. Chris. Don't tell me I showed up at an inconvenient time. You came right in time. Hey, Chris. Old acquaintances, you could say. Stand still, Agent Graham. Hold your fire. The hell? Ada! Charlie Graham contributed to the terrorist attacks, providing the coordinates of various U.S. secret bases. I can go on and on. Another puppet of Wesker. And you guys believe that? No. Oh. Sounds like you made a fair amount of cash. Minutes ago, he just called his friends on the other side to assimilate the Wolfhound Squad. Alpha, come on, arrest her already. Don't call me that. You're no longer a wolf. So what was the deal? You guys leave me no choice. No pity for traitors. Holy crap, Charlie. You went too far. Continue the mission. No funeral. Leave the body in the cold. Expect to get shadowed by the enemy. Alright, Wolves. 
This isn't going to be a walk in the park. Whoever wants to evacuate has permission to do so. Until but with us. Even if it makes me bleed. Loyalty till the end, Alpha. Leaving? What you mean, sir? It's just getting interesting around here. Don't ask me such bullshit, Chris. And what about you, Leon? I have nowhere to be after the president turned out to be another jinx bastard. Mm. You know where I stand. Wolves, something you need to know. A top secret treaty was made with former President Graham that related directly to the Wolfhound Squad. It was imposed on us to eliminate the President of the United States in the event that he should unite with our enemies and turn against his own people. This top secret operation was given to me in strict confidence by the Chief Operating Officer of the BSAA before they were vaccinated. So, Wolves, this may be our final mission. Operation Burn the Throne has commenced now. Rose, put on your seatbelt. Sure, Dad. Hey, Leon, right? I'm Lobo, and that's K9. Seems like you and Alpha know each other from previously before. Nice to meet you. I'm Tundra. Cold names. Umber eyes. Who are you, my pretty? Her name's Wong. Ada Wong. Take a sip, Leon. I stopped. So you finally got silver, huh, Leon? Huh. <laughs> and Daddy Redfield continued his lineage himself, hmm? Winters. My father passed away a long time ago. I'm sure it wasn't easy. My father was a drunkard and I ran away from home when I was 12. It's not the same. Really. Don't get any strange ideas. Just stay out of my life. Fine by me. Sorry. She... she wasn't always like this. Last year her mother had... Chris! Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude on your personal life.
rather die than give you control. Act like a hoe. So the president was under the influence of Wesker all along, huh? According to Ada, he was part of it since he took the oath. Oh, shit. Aren't you guys on the same side as them? If you want to creep up the president's ass, sure, Leon. I founded the Wolfhound Squad when I first heard rumors about the BSAA making plans to use genetically modified super soldiers. So, we're no longer their subordinates. However, we could forget about their finances now. I don't get it. The BSAA wants to get rid of the Wolf Squad. Look closer. They won't ask for your ID. These people will not hesitate to kill us. So what are we waiting for? Don't let them pass. Hold on tight. Chris, just hit the damn boulder. Don't stand in my way. Tactical off-road response vehicle providing up to 12.7 millimeter caliber protection. Impossible to pierce through with commercial weapons. Fortunately, I have some specialties for you. Alpha, we've been tracked down. You're not going anywhere. Don't take any chances. There was some nuts in the wild. Leon, use the stinger. Already on. So, now you can show your face. Take a toke of this smoke. Yeah! Good job, Leon. You know who that was? Just one of Umbrella's former mercenaries goes by Vector. You got some weird friends. I guess he got bored. He's looking for a part-time job now. <laughs> I won't let that sit well with me, Leon. Go on and stretch your legs, everyone. There isn't much time left. Ada, come with me. So that's where the wolves are at home, huh? Yep, that's our little cave. Make yourself at home. Will do.
No shit, huh? Body is a temple. Uh, brought you one too. Thanks. I guess. So, Ada's your girl. What? Come on, you can't deny it. Oh, it's, uh, it's complicated. It's always complicated. You need to work on yourself to get an attraction. Time's ticking, Leon. Oh my god. So, what's your part in this? You can say I was born into this. Then your dad was a wolf too? No, but a friend of his. His? Chris. Rose is a very special one. Special? Just leave it at this, okay? Just curious. Who are you, anyway? Well, where should I start? I was the president's lapdog for the longest time. Former DSO Agent Kennedy. Quit the job, played some video games, and traveled all over the world until this day. What makes you so special to get a job with the government? 1998. I survived the Raccoon City incident. You sure heard about it. Chris told me bedtime stories every night of it. Thank you for all the delightful dreams, Chris. I grew up with Goldilocks and the three teddy bears. Must have been hard growing up in the care of a madman. He also has his good sides, you know. Hard shell. Soft core. You're not that bad after all, Leon. Enough chit-chat. We have two objectives. One is Wesker. The other is the president. Chris and I exchanged ideas. Leon sticks with me. I organized an appointment with my informant. He'll help us in creating a bioweapon we can use against Wesker and his kin. Since when did we adopt bioweapons, Chris? It's a virus, but we'll get into that later. Now, as for the wolfhounds, you will have to eliminate the president. She's right. It's in our duty to liberate America from the current president. He must leave the office as soon as possible. Any objections? We will be terrorists in public eyes. That's correct. But we were legally and officially put to duty by former President Graham. We are starting an attack on the pharmaceutical company Blue Umbrella, which secretly developed a virus that is able to attack on a specific life form. With it, we make a virus that let all humans on this planet go extinct. You think the president's gonna save your guts? He already took the progenitor virus. The government censored this as much as they could. Now, my question to you is, what will you do about it? Will you remain a slave, or become a renegade? We better hurry. Let's go plans to attack Big Pharma. How do you know? I just saw him saying that on stream. He wants to let the whole world know. Either join us, or burn with the rest. Jesus. Spreading fear. Hm. A simple method to ignite the population. Right on time. May I have your attention, please? Oh, why did you get me into now? These people wanted to see you. Well, hello there. You're inside a former private U.S. secret military division base called Wolfhound. Tell us what you know. Reveal the details, Ark. Everything? Everything. Detective Ark Thompson? God blimey, is it really you? The one and only Leon S. Kennedy? A bit overdressed, but yeah, long time no see. I see you two already know one another. Old friends from college. Ark made his way as private detective and I became a cop, even if just for one day. Ada said you had further insight on what Wesker Jr.'s little doom project is all about. You bet. Wesker's arrangement goes beyond modern-day civilization. He's trying to bring forth a race of superhumans, following the footsteps of Oswald Spencer, the godfather of Project W. Now, 
I swear, this is like a broken record. His predecessors have indeed tried the same thing, but this time, his methods are very different. Together with Natalia, or rather, Alex Wesker, was creating a new race, which they refer to themselves as Homo Progenitoris. Translated, we say, Homo. Why is that? And Progenitoris comes from Progenitor, also Ancestor. It simply means wise man from the past. So they're still trying to become gods over mankind, huh? Frightfully, in their final stage, there's no room for any human left. The collective consciousness keeps them together. Collective consciousness? What's the counter to this? The counter to this is none other than Rosemary. Only she can save mankind from extinction. Why me? Your blood has special... properties. You're speaking of E001, aren't you? Yes. And my blood can save this world? If everything goes to plan, it can. Though there is no plan B. Oh really? How so? If we use this formula, and take a sample of E001, we can create an artificial endemic to the Homo Progenitoris. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it, I'm in. You shouldn't jump straight into this. How do you know he won't abuse E001? But... And furthermore, you know better than anyone what Evelyn is capable of. You act like I'm some sort of weapon. I can make my own decisions. No, you can't. You have a responsibility to bear. Ethan wouldn't have ever allowed this. Don't you dare use his name ever again. This is getting out of hand. We should get going. You took the words right out of my mouth. I'm coming with you. After all, I play a role in it. <coughs> Rose, you can't just leave and walk. She's still young. Hey, Leon. <clears throat> Make sure to double check on him. Promise me no one gets their hands on her. <laughs> I'll need a raise for that. No. Really? I'm counting on you, Leon. I've played the babysitter before, you know. What's up with you and him? Hmm? Don't act dumb. I wanna know. You wanna know? Yeah, I wanna know. He's like a part of me I can't let go. So, Ark. What now? You caught a nice breeding. Don't be a donkey. We're just friends. Friends? Mm-hmm. What would you like to be? Your love interest. Then you must be Rosemary. <laughs> you won't believe how much research I did to find you. And now you're here, once dead, now living. Your blood can save the world. I've heard enough of this already. Let's just get this over with. Rosemary's blood is so important because she is a fully reconstructed mold from a deceased human being. Namely, Evelyn. You will kindly refer to me as Rose, understood? The idea is to cause an artificial endemic to the Homo progenitoris, so it won't neither affect mankind, nor the animal world. So, we just hook a fish, and instill it with poison and toss it back into the sea. Sounds easy, right? Incorrect. We distinguish between the Alpha progenitoris, which is to say, Alex and Jake Wesker, and the Omega Progenitorians, which includes any who became one afterwards. I'm annoyed with all these stuck-up Weskers. Can't wait to catch one. This endemic will cause a microbial diversity of a so-called auto-e necrotoxin only within the infected. I have set the genetical code. All that's missing is a sample of your blood. 
mixing it together and we get the prototype, RE virus. RE virus? R stands for rose and E stands for endemic. And where's the evidence that your endemic will do its job and won't cause another pandemic? As said, the progenitor virus has both aided and hindered evolution of Earth's ecology through the extremities of its resulting mutations and was found within the West African and Dipia tribe. Though it is a virus, the fungus, aka Black God, aka Mold Super Colony, has special properties of mind control. Listen, Leon, if we isolate the artificial RE virus with a genetic code from the Homo prognitoris, it can't transfer onto humans. Makes total sense. What exactly is this endemic we're speaking of, anyway? If we merge both, the progenitor and the mold, the black sun and the white sun, it will cause a tremendous impact to the collective consciousness which the Homo progenitoris possesses, causing a toxic hallucinogen to its host, and ultimately, he becomes an animal, like being incapable to communicate information. Like a beehive gone mad. They will no longer be able to control the slaves. Destroys their entire plan in conquering the world. The old man's plan, boom, gone. Just like that. Mm, so we brew Wesker a mushroom soup and the world finds its peace again. What's the catch, Thompson? Fair enough. It won't be as easy as that. The remaining slaves will become nuts, as mentioned before, left from any lead. There will be chaos, even if we succeed and get the virus into Wesker's veins. Filled with information, still the same guy from college. I remember you cooked a mushroom soup and it was awful as all hell. <laughs> Reminisce, how beautiful. I just wish I didn't have to interrupt this nostalgic moment. But there are a bunch of special forces coming its way to hunt you down. What? I ordered them over to cover up my cheeky ass. You did what? Here, the complete data is on this memory stick. Don't mess it up. The world counts on you, Leon. Why did I see this coming? Take him away. Shoot me in the leg already. Let's do it. Oh, maybe a little more loving next time. Um, how about no arc Thompson? Get a grip and run! Ideas? Let's split up. A common tactic. Hit and run. Who the hell came up with the idea to split soldiers on skaters? It looks stupid, but in an environment like this, they have the better cards. does a life mean to you, Leon? There's no running away. <laughs> How dare you lurk after a woman in the night? <laughs> My 
mission is to eliminate all resisting. They say you never failed your mission even once. Let's see if these rumors speak the truth. You picked the wrong side. something for you. Hmm. Looks like you've seen better days. You and I have something in common. Victor, huh? Another sin. Transgression of Umbrella, I see. We both share fond memories with Umbrella. is working sticks and bones and now it is time for payback from the renegades, aren't you? You're not only pretty, you also have a brain, huh? Call me Mephis. I could use someone like you. I... I don't know. In this world, there are two kinds of people. Either you are a slave, or a renegade. Then maybe you're just a slave after all. I'm not a slave. Is that so?
No! We can talk about this! Have all the precautions been taken? Good. Let's show this world who is in control now. Targets in sight. Don't make a damn sound and open the security lock. Just do as I say. Authorized. Welcome, Mr. Jones.
Now it's your turn, K9. On it. Clear. Clear. All clear. Clear chambers to swap the carpet and rounds. The dark end of the street. That's where we always meet. What do you think of the president? You mean the idiot who betrayed his own country? Screw that worthless fool. After all, he serves as a tool and will give the outer wash to enlightenment. Humans are all the same. They always look for the easiest way out. They are like birds. They follow the set route. You can call that fate. What a stupidity. If only Natalia would tell me why she appointed Jake as our leader. He's a legitimate Wesker, that's why. He came from the slums. He didn't even have a decent education. All Natalia cares about is his bloodline. Not only that, he impregnated her. <laughs> Stop giving me a mental cinema. What do you think of this, Mr. Power? She escaped to the right. Don't rush. Stay together. Eyes. Stop hiding. Quit playing games, stupid psycho. The mission is due. Let's finish this. Get rid of these mad dogs. Let them bleed for what they've done to Daniel.
I'll entertain the big boy. Tundra, Alpha, you sneak up from behind. Don't die here. Come and get me, punks. Tudge. No. Damn it! Not again. Not a third time. Mm, the alpha male has lost his bed. What a tragedy. Just you and me now. Let me suck your blood. I'm not dead yet. Ah. Take your dirty collar! <laughs> you want something to suck on? Suck on this. I'll make sure to find this bitch in hell and fuck her all over. Make sure you do, Lobo. Save me a seat for when I get there. May I remind you that I have an appointment with Mr. President, Chris? Christopher Redfield. I heard the sound of blood splattering. You had fun down there? It's only a matter of time until humanity withers into extinction. Just enjoy the show and prepare for the final days. The president has fallen. Should have brought more.
I've heard Blue Umbrella is working on an endemic virus that affects only a specific species. Will you kindly show me the way? It would be a shame if your pretty eyes could be torn out. Follow me. I won't bite you. Not that I would assume something like that. Mephis. We don't even know our real names yet. I'm Rosemary. used it for a while. Carvin van Sant. What was that earlier? Your little trick? Are you some kind of BLW? <sighs> My parents. They were used by Umbrella. Kept in a facility as lab rats for the T-Phobos prototype experiment. The desire to reach immortality. I was born, and my parents were disposed of. I became their new pet. <sighs> this should answer your question. They have learned from their mistakes, working hard and cleaning up the mess left behind. No matter which name they use, Blue Umbrella, it's the same shit just with a new smiling face. The only difference is that nowadays it is accepted by the public to use bioweapons in warfare. <laughs> as long as it benefits the government, they will make it sound or sweet to your ears. Being here, talking to you, even if it's just for this brief moment, I forgot about all the pain in this world. To how many girls have you said that before? You're the first. This might come in handy. What is this? The key to save the world from the progenitor virus. Knew you were special. Can see it in your eyes. I'll look it up. Wait here. Putting your trust on a stranger. You are blinded by your feelings. 
Shut up. I'm not your enemy, Rose. I know you. Better than you know yourself. You're feeling alone. And now, you ignore the fact that humans are deceitful creatures. You know it as much as I do. I said shut up! able to recode his whole structure? Yeah, it contains all the data we've been looking for. But we need help a lot in order to get it to work. Very good. How long do you need to reverse the transmission? Just give me a couple. Now all we have to do is to demonstrate our power by releasing it onto the public. So deadly. They will have no choice but to listen to all demands. Let's get this brat over here and take her moldy blood. This brat won't give you anything. Rose, I told you to stay inside. You've lied to me. You're playing with me. I really began to like you. Like me? Love is just a cocktail of hormones. No one ever loved you. Yeah? Fuck you too. You've promised me no one would get hurt. <sighs> Rose, sometimes you must become the monster you hate the most. To achieve something greater, there will always be some casualties. Are you kidding me? I'm not going to comply. You are okay by sacrificing all these innocent lives? I tried to warn you. But you didn't want to listen. <laughs> you leave me no choice, Rose. Calvin! You're just a tool for anyone. Nothing more, nothing less. With me, you have everything you need. <sighs> no. Let me go, you! Someone's gonna teach you some lessons, then! Calvin, I thought you were serious by saying you want to fight for mankind. But all you wanted was being heard by the people in power, and you used me for this. And... can you blame me? <laughs> you know damn well that these bastards above won't ever listen to subhumans like us. I trusted in you. But you're not any different. Maybe you're right. All my life I've only pursued my own goals without even thinking about whether it's right or wrong. I founded Renegades only for that simple reason. 
vengeance. But if you would calm down, maybe we can find another way. You know, doing it your way. I wish I could believe you. <laughs> go. Just go before I change my mind. Now you've witnessed the monster that I am. Shh. It's all right, Rose. You did the right thing. No worries, I'm there for you, Rose. I'm such a fool. We were all young once. Scars leave us stronger. They stop bleeding every time, no matter how deep they are. However, some might take a little longer. Let's hope this virus works out that way. We have our scapegoat if it won't, right? Leon? Ha, <laughs> just kidding. Ready for the final stage? Ada is definitely waiting for us there. She has the gift of always showing up at the worst times. Are you drunk? What the heck is wrong with you? Evelyn, she was right there. You all right? You wouldn't understand anyway. Keep on going. It's closed. 
It's cold outside. Go on in before you catch a cold. Yep, right in time. That's almost scary. How was your day? Been better. Nice tune. What happened after? Go on, Ada. No, you. Mine says Leon. You look good. You look like a mess. I know. Only 69 floors to go. I'm getting too old for this. You're still standing. Humans, it's so easy to see through one. Indeed. You are no exception. So you know it all, huh? Why do you cover for mankind? What did they offer you? A sandwich? Yeah. I know, if your species ruled the world, I might never taste one again. Mankind has much more to offer than what you assume. Humanity yawns for extinction, like cattle with slightly more brain cells. Just enough to do what they've been told. I don't deny that people can be uncomfortable. May I remind you, you were human once too. The fool I was then is no more. You're speaking to a god being. Sorry for the interruption, but we have to prevent a doomsday! Uh... It's already too late for that. You son of a bitch. I'll take care of him. Rose, don't go by yourself! Chris should be here any minute. Why won't you listen? Nice forward. So beguiling. Guess we need some holy water. That's a pathetic sight. The progenitor virus will enlighten you too. Just accept it. No thanks, buddy. So this is what a Wesker looks like up close. Are you impressed? Disgusted, to be real. You can still become one of us. I'd rather die than lose control over myself. <laughs> Foolishness. Take this, you bastard. Scrash! You know, I've got to hand it to you. I've never seen anyone catch a flying missile, but you Weskers. Your little toys stand no chance against my kind. The game is over, Jake. Don't make this complicated. You seem to be misjudging the situation, Chris. After your blood is spilled on the dirt, I'll fire the nuclear warheads and the virus containing it. I'll rid this world of these insignificant parasites called humans. It seems you've forgotten that you were once human, too. I have no recollection of this. It seems our fates are forever intertwined, Chris. The only thing that can defeat power is more power. That is the one constant in this universe. However, there's no point in power if it consumes itself. I surpassed my father and earned the right to be a god. This again, Jake? 
This is like a goddamn time loop. Then you know what happens next. Rosemary, we only have one shot at this. Go all out. Didn't you say not to use it? Well, you have my permission now. All right, let's get serious. The injection. On it. my entire self to become a living god. No man on earth shall overcome me. You were right. You're worse than your father. You're a monster. Mortals like you should not interfere in God's words! like this. I need you to control me so I can control Evelyn. Uh, no, Rose. You're stronger than you think. You have to believe in yourself. No. No, you can't. Fuck. You're like my own dad. You raised me. Uh, uh, Ethan would be proud of you. I am proud of you, kiddo. Just never 
lose your way and uh You will pay for what you did, Wesker. You and your fucking man went to visit hell. What form of power is this? You will thank me later. You betray us. Why? What do you hope for, Ada Wong? Hmm? So you want to be a part of our new world? A wise decision you made there indeed. Ada! You can't be serious! No, Leon. We can't have the luxury of trust. But you, you're different. You're a Wesker. You're beyond human. Fight me. Ada. Just a chip off the old block. What? What have you done to me? So easy to manipulate. What is this? Oh, no! This can't be happening! The vision! No, I am a god! I injected myself with the RE virus. All your efforts in building up your old man's dystopian. Fantasies are now gone just like that. Not long enough when you're nothing more than a mindless brute. No, not the war. No, no, no. Ah. Ada! like you overdid it. That significant creature! Was the price in losing your humanity worth all of this? You were the biggest small timer I've ever seen in my entire life. No, I have absolute power! Yeah, whatever you say. Just took a quick power nap. 
I can try holding his chest open, but you gotta be quick. Ready? All right, shall we go? Ada. Ada. Come on, don't do this shit to me. No. Ada. It's hard to see me. I... I thought you were... Why would you care so much, Leon? I won't let you go, ever. Oh, Leon. You really did. Where's my hookshot when I need it? Let us spend the last days together before the world ends. You're breathtaking. No. You're breathtaking. I guess that's what they call a happy end. Happy end? Maybe for some of us. This is just the beginning. The beginning of a new dawn.
Not long after this day, they declared a global state of emergency. A new president was put to place. Ashley Graham made an oath to the old constitution. She also promised to bring light on any secret project Blue Umbrella had been working on. And slowly, they managed to contain the resurgence. That's what they've been calling it anyway, the outbreak I mean. I was on his wedding. Yeah, I'm talking about an actual wedding in a church. Leon's old school, but he's been so nice to me. Although he knows exactly what I am and what I could cause. I inherited Chris's life insurance. Guess he really loved me after all. Wish I could tell him how much I, you know, but I can't. Those days are gone now. I must live up to his legacy and stand up for the good. But I still have a lot to learn. I can't just rest yet. And what do you intend to do about it? It looks so sad. You should end its suffering. It's in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> 